Hey guys, today we are creating the final and last Minecraft miniature diorama with these beautiful dolphins. This is the final part, part four of our Minecraft miniature diorama in an underwater world. But today is different. You have already read the title. I'll introduce you to Team C's, this amazing big project by Mr. Beast and Mark Robber. And I can't wait until we also play a role in this biggest collaboration ever on YouTube. Stick to the end. But now, first things first, let's focus on this beautiful landscape for our underwater diorama from Minecraft. When you have seen parts one to three, you know that combined all four pieces will finally result in a bigger artwork. Each of these four pieces, I tried to create them a little different. On the first one, we had the axolotl. Then the turtle piece, the glowing squid, and today with the dolphins, water plants are quite important to my landscapes. In today's, I try to bring in a lot of water plants. I just love how they make a scenery alive. And what would be an underwater diorama without these beautiful corals? I mixed red and pink together to get this still bright color for the coral, for the first one. All we have to do is to get in a pattern and make sure that it is all block design. One block in my di diorama is one square centimeter. And I try to stick with this. Look at that. Looks so beautiful in the background. We put this onto the plate so that we can work on some further plants. Let's create some further seaweed. I'm creating three strings of seaweed. And it's not only for decoration. Yes, it looks amazing. It looks so beautiful. But the seaweed will also be quite functional to hold the acrylic glass on top in position that it looks like the water surface. I'm pressing these onto the plate so they won't move when I now start adding all the leaves from the seaweed. One straight and one crooked line and now a lot of work <laughs> until it looks like this. We bend the leaves to make them look a little bit more organic and I think it looks nice so far. The landscape is finished, just adding some final texture and now we are ready to go into the oven. We can start working on the dolphins. Happily, there is a color called Dolphin Gray. <laughs> we'll make it a little bit darker later after oven hardening with a pen. I thought it would be nice to create a male and a female dolphin so that the dolphin wouldn't be too alone. That they have company. The torso is one centimeter in width and two in length. And this will be the fin, which we are adding right now. We need a very thin plate in order to complete the fin. Just removing the connection piece. And then we have some more fins to create. Um, and we will attach them to the each side of the dolphin, putting this all onto the plate and the back fin, the tiny back fin for both dolphins. And we are almost there. Some white clay for the eyes as the last working step. 
the iris will be painted. And to make this diorama even more alive, I thought it would be nice to add another blowfish to the scenery. The body of this fish has two colors. We have the ochre underneath and this yellow brownish color on top, which I just mixed. It's half and half. And with the eyes, the mouth, and all these things, we have a beautiful blowfish with the tiny blue fins. Let's put him onto the plate as well and we are ready to go into the oven. We can now assemble the landscape. We start with this plate, gluing the corals, the corals, sorry, onto the plate. Coral, coral. Squirrel. So these corals are in the background. They will be also used as a support for the acrylic glass um, on top. And then the animals, the two dolphins and the blowfish, which only looks beautiful from the front. As mentioned before, the dolphins will get some more paint to make them darker. The side fins are glued to the torso. Yeah, it looks like an empty shelf of a vivid dolphin, but we'll change this. Maybe some fin clipping. It's forbidden in most countries. <laughs> oh, this would be so cruel. Fin clipping. <laughs> the eyes are painted. Look at that. Suddenly the dolphin is alive. Now so vivid that we can paint some pixel textures and the blow hole is it called blow hole we have three segments and can now glue the dolphin together again but this time the body is a little bit bended as if he is jumping out of the water <laughs> This is exactly what I want to achieve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he agrees. The pins are very useful for placement of the animals to make them float in our ocean diorama. This could be the, the spot for the blowfish in the backside. And the front, obviously, we are going to get a dolphin. Just sticking the body onto the needle. And these strings of seaweed are working as pillars for the surface of the ocean, which will be this. Three millimeters thick and it already comes in this transparent blue, quite shiny. And now I try to get in this typical Minecraft pattern, which can be seen on the surface. And by getting all the connection points even, we suddenly have the surface of the water. And for this cute guy who's jumping out of the water, we'll make another hover effect. Please subscribe, don't miss future Minecraft videos like this. With the upcoming update, the wild update, we get frogs and beautiful swamps. So I can't wait to create some more stuff like this. Some final air bubbles and normally we would be finished but this is what the Minecraft ocean would look like with trash. A lot of trash. Every day, big number of trash ends up in our oceans. Scientists assume that big number again of animals and humans are dying every day because of the pollution. Let that sink in, big number. Guys, 
And now all jokes aside. Ocean pollution has never been just a threat to the animals, but to human health as well. It's a complex mixture of toxic metals, plastics, manufactured chemicals, pesticides, oil spills, and the list would go on and on, but we start with the plastic waste, the tip of the pollution berg. Project Team C started by none other than Mr. Beast and Mark Rubber help us remove 30 million pounds of trash by January 1st, 2022. The project has just started today. One of the biggest, baddest, most impactful cleanup projects of all time. And this is how you can participate. Well, you can either pick up the trash if you see some, but you can also donate and Ocean Conservancy will take care. And for each dollar which will be donated, they are cleaning up one pound of trash. And this is my hope by January 1st, we'll get a beautiful and cleaner ocean than before. That's it, a Minecraft diorama with clay. Let's reverse this in real life too. Let's remove as much trash as possible from our oceans, rivers and beaches. I support Mr. Beast and Mark Robber with their project Team Seas with the bold goal of raising 30 million together to remove 30 million pounds of trash from our seas. Please consider supporting this project as well. I'm going to donate. For more information, go visit teamseas.org. See you on Halloween, guys. Bye.